use your calculator to find the angle to the nearest degree whose tangent value is 0 0.875. So what do you think that's going to be? The angle to the nearest degree whose tangent value is 0 0.875. Well, the first thing is to be careful. We are not, they are not asking for the tangent. They are not asking for the tangent of 0 0.875. They're not saying that 0 0.875 is an angle and we want to find the tangent of it. That is exactly, or that is not what they're asking. They're asking something different. They are saying that there's some angle, there's some angle, maybe we could call it theta, there's some angle that if we were to take the tangent of that angle, then we are going to get 0 0.875. So how do we figure out how do we figure out this mystery angle using our calculator? Well, the way we do it is a function called the inverse tangent function, or sometimes it's called the arc tangent function. And essentially, if you apply that, and if you just view this as an equation, you take the inverse tangent of something. So if you take the inverse tangent of this, and you take the inverse tangent, let me clear this out a little bit. Let me clear this out. And you take the inverse tangent of this, I'm just taking the inverse tangent of both sides, 0 0.875. On the left hand side, you're just left with the angle. The inverse tangent of tangent is just your original angle. And on the right hand side, you get the inverse tangent, inverse tangent of 0 0.875. And if you're in degree mode, this is going to return an angle in degrees. And if you're in radians mode, it'll return an angle in terms of radians. But let's you let's figure this out using our calculators. So we could use these, this traditional calculator, or more traditional calculator. Let me clear everything out. Now, all I see is a tangent. I don't see an inverse tangent. In order to get that, you have to press the inverse button right over here. And this is not the reciprocal button. This is the reciprocal button. This right over here is the inverse, to get the inverse functions. So you press inverse, and notice you saw that this changed. This would not actually happen on an actual calculator, but you get the idea. The actual calculator might have something up here to show that you can access it that way. And so now we can say 0 0.875, and we're going to take the inverse tangent of it. Inverse tangent. So take the inverse tangent of it. We already know that we're in degree mode, and we want to round to the nearest degree. So it's going to be, if we round to the nearest degree, we get 41 degrees. So theta is approximately, it's not exactly, we're rounding, 41 degrees. Let's do the exact same thing with the graphing calculator. So let me turn it on, and let me clear it. And now we want to take the inverse tangent. And here, this is actually, if you have this calculator, it'll look exactly like this. You see this, this is tangent, inverse tangent, tan, they have it written as to the negative one power. You can kind of, it looks like that, but it's not really to the negative one power. It's really inverse tangent. It's right there in yellow. To access that, you press second, and then that function. Inverse tangent of 0 0.875, we get the exact same value. It's roughly equal to 41 degrees if we round to the nearest degree.